It's Sunday the 6th of October and uh, we're starting a little bit differently this week because I am at the container and uh, the aim of today is to go through all of the bulk and uh, just get it weighed uh, uh, accurately and um, that will allow me to uh, you know consider the price for the store get that um, added to the list of things that, that need to be listed and um, that will mean I can I can move on and actually list in the very near future I would say um, so time to crack on I've brought the uh, the bathroom scales with me today which I'm gonna need to uh, weigh at, at this kind of uh, capacity sort of 10 to 20 kilos at a time uh, the counting scales have gone up uh, home only go to six kilos so they're not going to be any good and um, just need to get this lot weighed and take stock of uh, things like the extra sort of containers here um, there's some um, which I'll probably include as well in the sale there's, there's some very large uh, wham organizers up there they're used typically more for sort of um, Christmas decoration types but they've also either got or had uh, Lego in them as well and uh, see what else uh, we've got that we can include in the sale so time to get cracking gonna be here for a little while I think so best get busy well I'm finally finished and I won't lie that was uh, quite hard work uh, getting all of that out weighing it and uh, getting it back in place but it's a good job done. I haven't calculated exactly um, what was there yet. I'll do that when I get back. I've made a list of all of the tubs. And um, I will uh, be taking a few things back with me. Uh, so I've got a couple of bits in the car here. And I also found the instructions for the set uh, that I took back last week. So that's 10244. So we've got a set of those. So that should now be saleable as well. And got a few other bits and another little uh, box of sets and things to go through um, on the back seat there. So we'll get those uh, packed away and uh, get the gate shut. And I'm off home for a well-earned rest and a drink before picking the orders for the weekend. It's Monday the 7th of October and uh, time to get orders shipped and uh, let's have a look at what we've got going out today. Um, now the orders are a little bit down for Monday because if, if you um, recall from last week's vlog I posted about 11 or 12 out on Saturday morning which would normally have been held over to Monday so um, I think that's partly why it's a little quieter uh, here. <clears throat> or appears to be a little quieter. Uh, so uh, 10 orders, 127 lots, 569 items on uh, Bricklink. Um, sorry, on Brick Owl, just five orders, uh, 41 lots, 92 items. I do think that Brick Owl's been particularly quiet uh, lately. And I think I've heard that from multiple people where the numbers have been down on Brick Owl versus uh normal uh ratio to bricklink um so something to watch for possibly uh and then we've got uh two orders going out uh on uh ebay now as usual uh we're all picked i did my picking uh last night except for the odd one or two this morning uh so We've got, uh, going out on eBay, we've got a couple of Harry Potter uh, minifigs going out. Uh, we've got this Bionicle head with a uh, neon uh, trans-orange uh, part to that. And then we've got this uh, flag going out. Now, this is £7 worth of, of flag. This is a large pirate uh, flag. Uh, we've got a couple of hubcaps. So you can see there's a few small orders here. Um, but then we've got some minifig parts. Uh, some of these, I think, were listed uh, last week, possibly. Uh, and we've got another uh, parts order here. And then we've got a nice little order here from uh, uh, a guy who watches the uh, channel. And uh, he uh, was wishing me well for 
retirement, etc., and said he would uh, wipe me out of a, a few lots before going, uh, which is much appreciated. And then uh, an order here for uh, 30 of these uh, uh, drive rings. And then we've got uh, a few other bits and pieces, uh, sort of um, just a few weapony type things and studs and what have you. Um, another small parts order there. We've got a minifig going out with two of these rings. These came from uh, those old uh, Technics X parted out a few weeks back and those are two pounds each, uh, those two rings. So surprising what you find in some of those uh, sets. Then we've got a fairly regular buyer here. Um, interesting that this was only listed last week as part of the stock check. This was parted out because it had a missing hand. And interestingly, they have bought all of the parts that are broke down. So essentially they've brought the figure that I had minus the, the hand. So I assume they have the other hand uh, to go with that. And then we've got two more orders over here. This one's going out to the state, which is an instruction book and a couple of capes and, and spare bits and pieces there. And then a small order here for uh, a couple of heads and a few parts. And then another tiny order over here for some uh, cheese slopes. And that's it. Uh, so I'm gonna get those packed away, um, get them ready for the post office. Got the gym this morning, which I'll be honest, uh, after yesterday lugging all of that bulk around, I'm not sure how much I fancy, but I will go. And then I've got a lot of stuff here that I need to sort out that came back from the container. This is the uh, set that needs to be uh, photographed and listed uh, for eBay. Now that I've got the instruction books, which are in this tub. And then here, uh, these are just various things that I thought I might be better off bringing back and sorting out here. There's a Harry Potter set in there that maybe needs checking and doing something with. Found some old receipts, which you don't want to be going anywhere. Um, and then what else have we got? All sorts of things in here with figures, uh, mostly city stuff, um, but the figures will be worth listing. And then I found this box of all new bags. And I'm not sure what they are, but I know this bag here has got at least two, three, Flowers in, so they'll be worth coming out and listing. And then, yeah, I need to have a look through and see what I can make of this. Um, it just looks like a load of random bags. More minifig parts in there, and that's part of the Harry Potter set I can see. Uh, so, some interesting bits and pieces in there that will certainly add some value uh, to the store. Found more minifigs uh, here. Uh, which need uh, listing and uh, yeah just lots and lots of stuff we've got parts from uh, uh, Grand Emporium although I know it's nowhere near uh, complete but we may sort those parts out and then we've got a box here of all sorts of small sets which I think I showed on the video yesterday so I'm not going to move uh, too much so that needs looking through so plenty to do um I must admit, I do feel like I'm getting much closer, though, to actually uh, listing the store. And um, it's going much, much quicker than I thought. And I can imagine me listing in the next uh, couple of weeks. So if you're not um, signed up for Brickseller Hub and you're interested in buying, then I would get signed up and um, keep an eye out for uh, this getting listed. I've uh, just had uh, another uh, listing uh, attempted here and I just wanted to highlight something to people because uh, this particular user had in the description uh, had shared an email address, shared a store name and had uploaded, uh, after requesting some images, had uploaded lots and lots of images um, with a store name card showing their store name. And unfortunately, uh, we can't allow that um, because that can potentially um, drive discussions off the platform to uh, and enable people to either reach out by email, do a deal 
or um, reach out through uh, Bricklink once you know the store name, etc., etc. So um, just to be very clear, we don't allow any sharing of personal information or the store name on any listings on uh, Brickseller Hub um, for those uh, reasons. Now, um, this particular person has decided not to sell on the platform because they think it's too much work to redo the the images, uh, which is completely their prerogative. But it was and is mentioned on the site that we can't allow any sharing of personal information. So if you are considering listing on uh, Brickseller Hub, uh, do please keep that in mind. I've been busy uh, making a brick store file for figures um, that I found over at the container yesterday. Um, I found a, a few bags uh, full and um, many of them were city related figures uh, like this and I've listed them as uh, the actual figures rather than uh, taking the time to break them down. Um, some of these are from things like the holiday train and uh, other uh, similar things and uh, also we've got some other uh, ninjago uh, related um, and some of them quite valuable we've got a kai minifig here which is worth well i'm listing it at 49.99 i think there's one other for sale in the uk for about 75 pounds so um there's some um reasonable priced uh, figures in here um there's a hundred and ninety five pounds uh, worth ninety five items seventy six lots. I'm going to get these uploaded now and then crack on with something else. It's Tuesday the eighth of October and uh, we had a really busy day yesterday. Um, we um, managed to to get lots of work done on the store. Obviously, we had orders to do in the morning. Had to go to the gym, etc. And then I had uh, a call uh, last night, uh, one of the uh, consulting calls for about an hour and a half, um, which um, was really interesting. The guy had uh, tons and tons of questions, which he'd sent me a list of in advance. And I was able to, to uh, you know, give my input on those questions. And I think he, he went away uh, really happy. So, um, yeah, it was working. So sort of you know uh, early hours yesterday right up to sort of 10 o'clock last night so really busy um but um back to it this morning and we've got uh five orders on uh bricklink 45 lots 441 items so not an enormous amount to pick and then on uh brick owl which continues to just be pretty awful if i'm honest um brick owl is just um not really delivering the goods in terms of order numbers at the moment so just one order on there for six lots and then on ebay we've got two uh, uh two figures going out on ebay so um let's have a look at what they are you can see the kind of mess that i've still got going on here but believe it or not this is an improvement to yesterday in terms of what we got done and uh I've been filling my bins up as we go as well. So one by uh, plates are pretty full, uh, one by bricks. Tiles is overflowing over there, so I need to sort them out. Um, but um, yeah, lots, uh, lots to do. Um, anyway, uh, over here, we've got a, a Kai Dragon's Rising figure going out for 6 99 We've got an order going off to the States for 22 of these uh, A-Wing Pilot uh, torsos. And then we've got another little order here for a mix of parts and, and minifig items. Uh, we got an order for a single 6.6 uh, .6 long uh, uh, bar with a stop ring. And then another little uh, part order there. Then we've got a fairly large Technic order, um, all uh, Technic bricks in uh, quantities of, um, you know, 20, 30 a piece, etc. So a good little order there. And then on eBay, just took an offer on this this morning. Um, this was listed at 4 99 And um, the buyer uh, made me an offer of 2 99 which 
isn't worth your time and effort when you think of the cost of postage, the envelope, the fees, etc. I went back and I said three ninety nine is the lowest I could do, and they bought instantly. So um, there you go. Um, then on uh, uh, Brick Owl, the one order I did get on there was just for this instruction books and uh, a few little parts as well. So time to get this lot packed away and then get them off the post office and then we'll crack on and try and uh, sort some more stuff out. Um, not quite sure what to tackle first. Um, we're probably going to have a sort through these new uh, bags and see what we've got in here. I did say uh, yesterday that we've got some stormtroopers there. I know for sure there's some Harry Potter stuff. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I think uh, th there we go with some of the Harry Potter. I see some heads in there. This is from the Quidditch. I can tell just by um, the bags. Um, you can see there's uh, some legs in there. I don't know that until torso or not but i'm pretty sure it would be in there i would have thought and yeah lots of other mostly new bags so they're going to take a little bit of sorting and uh, see what we can get out of them and uh, get them added uh, to the store but we've added lots of value to the store in the last week i'm really pleased with uh the progress um no point even attempting a stock check at the moment while i've still got these kind of things uh to sort out i'll get this all tidied up first and, and sorted and put away before we go around and, and think about doing the, the stock check so i'm starting to work through the uh, new bags uh this was the first one well actually it's the second one i've opened because i opened one earlier that, that just had uh, parts in it had things like um lots of these uh roof slopes uh in dark red uh, so there were corner slopes there were there were these uh and then there were the thinner uh version the sort of half width of those um so i've uh, i've parted that bag out which was really easy because there was a lot of uh duplication in the parts now some of these bags are not going to be as straightforward there's going to be a much bigger variation of parts so i need to think about how i'm going to tackle this um so here's an example uh bag that i've just opened it's got some new star wars minifigs in um and so i think what i'm going to do these bags on my desk have got minifigures in I'm going to um, get them out, get them listed, and then I'm going to treat the the new uh, bags very much like I would treat used. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them into categories, uh, you know, plates, uh, two by plates, one by plates, uh, bricks, modified, round uh, parts, etc., and then I'll circle back through them and add them when I've got all the bags open. It's probably the best way I can think of doing it. I don't want to try and identify what the bag is and then part it out from there. I'm not sure that's going to be that helpful. Even though I know, for instance, these are very obviously from the Quidditch set, uh, for instance. But I think it will be quicker and easier to just part them out into categories and, and get them listed. Anything unusual, I'll maybe put to one side and list as I go. Um, and um, we, we'll just see how we get on. It's going to be a bit of a tedious process, but um, a very necessary one nonetheless. It's Wednesday morning and we've got a couple of orders to go out in the uh, post, which I'll show you in a second. But I uh, just want to apologise a little bit for not doing too much uh, videoing yesterday. As I said yesterday, I've got such a mess going on with uh, things that were brought back from the container and things that I'm trying to get sorted and into the store. So I was working through this box yesterday, which was full of bags of random um, new bricks from uh, various sets. And um, I was able to get a lot of this uh, sorted and put away. Still got lots and lots of uh, pots and things on my desk uh, that need to be listed. Um, I've been building up a brick store uh, file uh, with those parts. 
and so far for yesterday we got up to 145 pounds worth uh, 994 items in 203 lots so you know uh, lots of lots um to be added to the store uh, which will be a, a good thing obviously um so uh, i want to continue and try and finish that off uh today and then i would like to get some of these bins emptied and sorted and added to the store before i uh list but i'm really getting quite close as i've probably said already um I'm, i've got to a point and i'm thinking why why hang around so uh, the chances are we'll list in the next uh few weeks and um we'll uh we'll see how it goes once we once we list and uh see what interest there is um now in terms of orders going out today um we've got a few technic parts going out on bricklink and then uh we've got an order from barn dog uh, uh who've ordered some manuals and a few uh parts uh then we've got a, an order that's lots of accessories and some minifigs and all as you can see uh predominantly uh, ninjago related and then we've got a nice order for lots of dark azure parts along with a couple of dalek uh tiles there and a um indiana jones minifig so we'll get those packed and uh off uh, to the post office got the gym this morning um which i must admit since holidays feeling a little harder to to get to especially now that i've got a lot of focus on sort of what i'm doing and uh really just want to get uh cracking and get sorted um but um i need to keep that up and um I'll get back to this lot later this morning. Well, it's been another super busy day and I've uh, been continuing to add uh, lots of pots of parts. Uh, just been doing uh, one by two plates, um, uh, which I've added uh, to the file, uh, which now means I've got uh, nearly 3000 items and 395 lots. For 232 pounds so not a lot of value a de i mean a reasonable amount of value don't get me wrong um but um for the work uh you know um it does make you wonder um i've still got an awful mess going on um as you can see and i'm definitely fed up uh for today of, of adding uh parts um there's still a few jobs i would like to get done uh, and added to the store mostly sort of tiles and sort of uh, a few one by bricks and things but i'm conscious that you know i'm putting the effort in and probably not getting an enormous uh, amount uh, back for it so part of me is thinking just sort of bite the bullet now and um figure out a price and uh and and maybe get it listed um there are things like these that are that are still tempting this box in here that's full of all sorts of little sets and things i'm not sure what to do with with um so i need to figure that out and um just a few loose uh odds and ends but uh, i'm getting it really ever closer to what i want to do um i can keep working away keep adding bits and bobs and keep increasing the inventory um um but you know it's just getting harder and harder to come up with a cutoff point um now i have had a bunch of orders in this afternoon that i've ignored uh, while i've got things done so i need to crack on with orders tomorrow i'm not going to start them now i might print off what i've got um and, and get them started but um, tomorrow I probably need to try and sort some of this mess out a bit more. Um, it's just so tempting to just keep listing and listing and listing. Um, but um, we'll see what tomorrow brings and see how I feel um, tomorrow with a, a, a good night's sleep. And, and you know, uh, the, the new day might bring renewed energy. But uh, right now, uh, I'm not sure I can be bothered listing too much more of of the used stuff in particular it's thursday morning and uh or thursday afternoon now actually um but i uh, just wanted to show you 
um, today's orders. Uh, five orders in on Brick Owl, um, 322 lots, so quite an increase in lots for the number of orders. And uh, 1,671 items uh, going out for £138. And then on uh, Brick Owl, uh, we've got two orders, 30 more lots, 160 items. And then on eBay, we've got three uh, more items going out and uh being that it is the afternoon obviously we've got them picked and they took a bit of picking because uh, there's a couple of uh, large orders in here uh in terms of lot count at least um but let's have a look at uh, what we got going out um on uh, brick owl we've got an order for a bunch of uh, friends uh, related parts and uh, other uh, parts there as well on ebay We've got a Han Solo celebration minifig and then a small order for some parts there, including a nice little uh, teddy bear in, in there. Uh, another small parts order. Then we're on to the first of the two large orders. And both of these orders were around uh, 140 something lots each. And both have um, what I think are fairly obvious um uses and i might be wrong but um uh, uh, it would be interesting to get some feedback uh this one um looks like they're making up lots of dimension sets um i parted out a whole bunch of uh, dimensions related uh things the other day and they've bought lots of them uh things like uh these printed doctor who tiles other printed uh, paraphernalia uh, that go with the, the various dimension sets. Um, um, even the minifig parts are uh, minifig uh, related that would go with dimension sets. Um, so that's my uh, guess with that one. Um, some other things in there as well. So maybe not entirely dimensions, although even these, I've got a feeling they're probably from the Ghostbusters story pack or something. Um, but um, uh, great order nonetheless. This one is different in that um, this one, I'm pretty sure a lot of it at least, is for Jabba's Palace. And uh, the reason I think that is because I had a bunch of parts that I had aside trying to rebuild it. Um, from quite some time ago and just got sidetracked, never got back to it. And the other day I ended up parting it out because there were some uh, parts in here, these, um, and there were four of them, are about six pounds each. Uh, and they've bought them, they've bought this dish and some other um, wedge parts uh, that go with it. So I'm pretty certain that's for uh, Jabba's Palace. Um, another decent order here as well. Uh, there's a few minifigs in here and the minifigs are in quantity as well. Um, which always kind of makes you think that they're for resale possibly. Lots of arches bought in here and also studs. And then we've got a nice little order here with a couple of skeletons, some other minifig parts and lots of candles. And then on eBay, we've got an order in, two separate orders actually. Uh, for uh, these poly bags, uh, both going to the same uh, customer, which saves on a little bit of postage. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get those packed up and we'll get them um, put away. Um, sort of taking a bit of time off from um, listening into the store uh, for today. Uh, I'll uh, get on to some other things, probably more related to uh, moving some other things on eBay or whatever. Uh, I've just bagged up this nice bag of uh, tiles here that I was going to uh, part out. And if I do do any more parting out, that will likely uh, be next. Still got an almighty mess uh, going on, although we are starting to empty out some of these pots. That's where the tiles were. I'm using one of these um, for one of the orders, which had... Um, one by plates in and um, just trying to get you know uh, further organized for for moving everything on um, so it's a bit of a 
endless task at the moment, but um, needs to be done and um, need to get everything in uh, ship shape order and ready to move. Well, I'd no sooner got this lot packed up and then got a couple more orders in and um, nothing really much to say. Just want to let you know that um, we're keeping busy with orders, small order there with a, a, a head and a couple of other bits. And this is from a, a fairly regular buyer. I was just looking, this is his uh, 40 second uh, order with me. Uh, which is uh, uh, very much appreciated. And um, uh, given that, um, you know, well, things are winding down, I'm not sure we'll make 50, um, but um, we'll see how we go. And uh, anyway, I get these two uh, packed and added to the pack. Friday morning and uh, four orders going out this morning. Uh, first up on uh, Bricklink, we've got an order for a couple of instruction books and uh, various parts, plates and uh, slopes there. Second order is just two items, a printed tile and uh, a, a gear there. And then uh, another order here for 100 of these uh, two by six uh, medium azure uh, uh, bricks and then uh, some of these uh, logs I think it's about 114 there and then a little order for lots of uh, orange parts not no idea what uh, there might be building there um, so we'll get those packed up and uh, off to the depot uh, now I've got a hospital run to do today for a family member so um, that's gonna take this afternoon out of the equation so not sure what We'll get done there. Uh, might have to give the gym a miss this morning just so that I've got time to spend on uh, the store and, and get things uh, listed and tidied up and uh, other things uh, done. Uh, I've still got stuff to sort out up here that I want to either get on eBay or, or something or break down. And, um, you know, there's stuff all over the place. If we look up, up here, we've got a uh, Sanctum Sanctorum uh, set, uh, no mini figs, of course. So plenty to be getting on with and uh, lots of tidying up still to do, uh, which will keep us busy, but we'll keep cracking on. It's Saturday morning and I'm um, just clearing up a few uh, odd orders that uh, I want to get out this morning rather than holding them over to uh, Monday. So uh, these two here are both from the same person. So I'll combine uh, those orders and get them out. They're just uh, regular bricks, two by twos and some plates, etc. And then we've got small order for these uh, uh, pin uh, connectors and then a, a few minifig accessories and another small order for bits and pieces. And now I've got to say that um, Store sale wise, uh, things are kind of accelerating a little bit. Uh, so what I've done, I've decided I'm pretty much not going to be sorting and adding much of this stuff uh, to the store now. So I've emptied and bagged those up and those will probably be sold as uh, sorted uh, bulk as part of the sale. Still got an awful mess on the desk, so don't uh, take too much uh, notice of that still got lots of uh, tidying up and things like that to do but what that means is I've been able to uh, figure out sort of quantity wise you know I went to the container last week and ended up with I think around about 350 kilos of bulk and then I've weighed uh, various bits in here and there's 30 to 40 um, kilos of sorted stuff in here as well um and then um, obviously the inventory and all of the organizers the storage everything which i uh, i've done some rough figures on and actually got a bit of a shock about the value in uh the organizers the drawers um you know things like all of the uh reco units have all got dividers in probably a pack of dividers per um, um, unit as well which increases uh, the potential value of those um, there's about 500 of these blue uh, uh, nice little uh, stackable uh, drawers which are a real nice uh, 
uh, good quality see-through uh, plastic on those, which are quite good. And then lots of wham organizers here, uh, there, etc. And then all of the minifig parts uh, are in uh, those uh, uh, cheaper kind of organizers. Uh, lots of other things to be going as well. So there'll be all of these uh, IKEA trays um there's obviously the the um organizers at the back here so the scales uh, will be included there's just so much stuff um it's incredible when you list it all out um you know just how much there is and what it comes to but um uh, we'll be looking to get this listed very soon mm -hmm. 